very good day to all of you. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about second law efficiency analysis of a gas turbine. So we'll be using exergy analysis to calculate the performance of a gas turbine. So let me quickly go into the question. So we have a gas turbine power plant which uses a air as a working fluid with a 5 kilogram per second mass flow rate as given in the table. This table provides all the values. And then the pressure is around 1 bar and the temperature, the ambient uh, pressure and temperature is given. On the basis of the air standard efficiency, uh, standard analysis, calculate the isentropic efficiency of this compressor, exergy efficiency of the turbine, thermal efficiency of the whole plant, exergy efficiency of the whole plant and then perform exergy accounting of the combustion process which is in heat exchanger. So we need to do this. Uh, they are given the pressure at each point, 1, 2, 3, 4, temperature at each point, enthalpy at each point and the entropy at each point is given. So basically we need to do this analysis and calculate the efficiency. So let us try to solve this problem with the, uh, with the second law efficiency analysis. So to solve this problem, uh, let us first calculate the, the work done by the compressor. What is the work done by the compressor? Let us start from here. So we should know that the work done by the compressor, so work done by, the, we need to have a small uh, sketch of it. Uh, again, I'll do that for you. So here, this is the uh, compressor part. So let's say this is a compressor which is having uh, inlet air is going at 1 and this is the condition 2. So basically 1 to 2 is a compression process, isentropic compression. So, so you want to find out the compressor work, uh, just recall the formula. So which gives us mass flow rate multiplied by H2 minus H1. Enthalpy at point number 2 minus enthalpy at point number 1 will give us the compression work. So, which will be 5 into 508.17 minus 290.16. So, this will give us the compression work. Okay. So, next let's go into the, uh, uh, let's, we'll calculate the isentropic efficiency of the compressor. To calculate the isentropic efficiency of the compressor, Please uh, recall the formula for the uh, isentropic efficiency, which will be isentropic work by actual work done by the compressor. So the isentropic work uh, includes the isentropic uh, enthalpy minus, which is H2S minus H1 by actual work is given by H2 minus H1. This can also be written as Cp into T2S minus T1 by Cp into, assuming the specific heat is constant, uh, then we can just cancel out these two and then it will be basically a function of temperature. So here we have temperature T1, T2, everything, only we don't know the isentropic uh, temperature. So if the process uh, for the isentropic uh, uh, temperature, we need to use the uh, temperature pressure relationship in the case of uh, isentropic process. We can write it as T2S by T1 will be equal to P2 by P1 whole power K minus 1 by K. So using this expression, we can find out what is the, uh, what is the isentropic uh, temperature. Uh, from, because isentropic is a reversible process, whereas this one is actual compression. So we need to find out the temperature T to S, which will be uh, slightly different from the T2. So for that, let's substitute P2 by P1 ratio, which is uh, which will be 5 into 1.4 minus 1 by 1.4. And then this T1, you bring it to the other side, which will be 290 so you substitute will be getting 459.30 kelvin 
so we got the isentropic temperature so we got the isentropic temperature so now it's easy to easy to substitute in this formula so we can calculate the uh, compression efficiency so what is t2s we got now we got as 459.30 minus 290 divided by divided by 505 minus 290 so you you can substitute this and get the answer as 78.74 percent so this will be your uh, compression uh, efficiency so we got the uh, first we found out the compression work then we found the isentropic efficiency of the compressor so let's go to the turbine part now so if you remember the turbine part so we have this um, turbine section so in the case of turbine we have outlet is 4 and this is a turbine inlet so the condition is at 3 so basically 3 to 4 the turbine side so here we write the work done by the turbine work done by the turbine is given by wt which will be equal to m dot into h3 minus h4 so you can substitute the value mass into what is the h3 it is 904.99 minus 6 4 643.98 this is equal to 1044.24 kilowatt so we got the turbine work next uh, we calculate what is the uh, we will try to calculate the first law efficiency of the first law efficiency of the gas turbine first law is basically uh, the based on the first law of thermodynamics so this will be work done by the turbine minus work done by the compressor divided by heat supplied so this will give us this one so h3 minus h4 will give us the work done by the turbine minus work done by the compressor is h2 minus h1 divided by what is the heat supplied that is from the combustion chamber which is h3 minus h2 since we know all the enthalpy values here, uh, we just substitute all the enthalpy value. So it will be 904.99 minus 634.93 minus 508.17 minus 290.16 whole divided by 904.99 minus 508 so you solve this one we are getting the the first law efficiency as 0.1084 which is around 10.8 percent so we got the first law efficiency of the uh, of the gas turbine so let's go to the next part of the calculation where we try to find out the second law efficiency second law efficiency will be second law efficiency of the gas turbine will be equal to second law efficiency of the gas turbine equal to actual efficiency by by maximum possible efficiency what is the actual efficiency which we got the previous step which is 0 0.1084 what will be the maximum possible efficiency that is related to the uh, ideal case you can take the heat engine with operating at uh, uh, heat source and heat sink which is TL and TH and this plant is operating at uh, temperature from the table we can get the temperature which is 290 and the temperature is T635 for this case of uh, reversible heat engine for this case of reversible heat engine we get the efficiency as 19.95 so this is the efficiency of the gas turbine so let's calculate what is the exergy flow in the combustion chamber what is the exergy flow in combustion chamber so combustion chamber you should remember it is in two to three that is a combustion chamber so you want to find out the combustion chamber exergy flow that will be m into x3 minus x2 okay what is the uh, exergy flow 
uh, flow exergy we should remember the formula which will be h3 minus h2 minus t0 into s3 minus s2 minus r into ln p3 by p2 so this gives us the flow exergy across the turbine across the combustion chamber so here this one we should account for the enthalpy and this one is the entropy term uh, and if you just substitute all the values here uh, you, you we can get the answer 5 into 904 904 minus 643 minus t naught is 298 s3 is 2.817 minus 2.16 minus 287 times ln 500 by 500 so since the pressure ratio uh, there is no change in pressure ratio it will be simply h3 minus h2 this term we can can become zero this r term becomes zero so you will get the answer as 3 to 6.4 kilowatt so this is the exergy flow in the combustion chamber let let's go to the next part of the uh, exercise where we can find out the exergy destruction mm, in the system we want to find out the exergy destruction exergy destruction uh, let's find out in the gas turbine in the turbine part turbine section is three to four right you remember the turbine sections you remember the exergy destruction formula which will be exergy destruction is equal to m dot into t naught into s generation so this will be our uh, standard expression so this into 293 that is the temperature of the dead state into s3 minus s4 this will give us the idea of the exergy destruction in the in the turbine section okay so here we just get the answer as 510.113 kilowatt okay the same way we can calculate what is the entropy production in the uh, we can calculate the entropy production in the in the turbine as well as in the compressor let's say you want to find out the exergy destruction in the compressor section you can still apply the same formula m dot into t naught into s yes, entropy generated so this entropy generated in the compressor should correspond to one to two so if you substitute the entropy if uh, in the process one to two we can find out in the um, com com in the compression section the same way we can do it for the uh, entropy for uh, the entropy production rate let's calculate the entropy production rate so you want to find out the entropy production rate entropy production where you want to calculate the entropy production entropy production of the turbine let's say i want to find out the entropy production of the turbine this will be s dot in the turbine section it will be m into s3 minus s4 so this will be 5 into 2.81 minus 2.46 so which will be 1.741 kilowatt per kelvin the same way you can do the entropy production rate for the each section so coming to the second law efficiency of the turbine this is what we need to do so that will be equal to wt by w maximum it is the actual work by maximum possible work what will be the actual work that is the power output from the turbine the maximum one is m dot into xrg3 minus xrg4 so what is the actual work which will be m dot into h3 minus h4 divided by m dot into x3 minus x4 x3 minus x4 is the xrg flow across the uh, across the turbine so let's let's calculate the exergy flow here so which will be 904.99 minus 643.93 whole divided by 904.99 minus 64.93 minus and this one exergy will be uh, this this actually coming from h3 minus h4 minus t naught into s3 minus s4 so this if you substitute you can get the answer so this is 
So this is the denominator H3 minus H4 T0 minus H3 minus H4. In the numerator we have H3 minus H4. Okay. So in the denominator we have H3 minus H4 T0 H3 minus H4. So if you substitute all this thing, efficiency is coming around 71.9%. So this is the second law efficiency of the turbine. Okay. So that's all for this today's class. Thank you so much. Yeah.